What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on the channel. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want some more awesome WWE Supercard content. I was literally about to record and as you can see on your screen right now, there is a shattered Stone Cold Steve Austin that I just pulled from the board. As you can see, 11 picks are remaining, so there was obviously 12. I was about to start recording for you guys, and there you go. I'll give you my analysis on OTL and everything like that, and there's Shatter Stone Cold Steve Austin. So I figured I'd show you guys that for the lulls. And we're going to talk about the brand new Over the Limit mode, and to be quite honest with you, the feedback so far has been really, really bad. And we'll, we're going to go with the word bad. So yeah, we're going to go bad. we got a brand new card, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and lock him in first real quick. We're about to hit the car limit too. All right. Oh, man, the shadows are starting to stack. Love it. All right. <coughs> so, guys, as you all know, Over the Limit has released today. As you can see, I'm currently on 3,211 points. And as you can kindly see in global, we're going to get those global awards a little too easy. I think they made those global awards a little too low. But uh, maybe next one they could adjust. They'll probably make an adjustment when they fix the over limit mode, but what we have now. So currently I'm on 3,200 points. I probably spent about 1.5k so far in credits. And uh, that's how much I've And we've spent about 1.5. To 1.5k in contracts and that is the currently the problem with over the limit uh if you guys want my honest opinion these prices are ridiculous uh, i've never never thought that they would make these prices if if you could pull a hype card from the board every dang time these prices would be acceptable the fact that you don't pull a hype card and you could probably pull one Sometimes after eight pulls, you'll, you'll you'll finally get one. This is atrocious, and the amount of, the amount of time it lasts is atrocious. This isn't TVG. This isn't the same. TVG, you just got to do it once, yada yada yada. This is a never-ending cycle for 500. I think this is outrageous. I think these prices are stupid. If these are going to be the prices, at least raise the time limit because I think the time limits are retarded. Like I don't know where you raise this by a hundred. That then raise this one by 125 and then raise this one by 150 and then raise this one by 125 like I think the more times you buy the lower it should get not higher but you know I I never buy this RTG uh, TBG things because I think it's just retarded for me unless you're really really low on time you have one hour but yeah so so far this is a problem pulling height cards from the board is a major problem you really can't. And uh, luck is also a problem. If you don't get lucky, you spend two hours of grinding for nothing. You probably only get 100 points out of it. Which would be between about 100 150 points. And that's if you get lucky. You you need the times two. There should be an option to give you a times two. Pay 100 credits to times two it. You know, they should give you that option. It shouldn't be all about luck. But if it was about luck, then, you know, fine. Make it luck, but at least make it easier to get freaking <laughs> hype. So, yeah, overall, this event has been a fail to me so far. Uh, I know they're going to improve it, but, you know, it, what we saw in the YouTube videos from the other creators isn't the same as this. And that's what blindsided us all. Cat Daddy really needs, when the, these creators are flown out there and testing that... They need to make it the exact same way that they had it there. Because we don't have 200 hype like the creators did. We only have 100. They were pulling hype cards after every damn card. We're not getting that. They need to do better. And they're making these little mistakes over and over. And I don't get it. Like, it doesn't make sense. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go for the card or not. I'm, I'm going to go for get Elias. I don't know if I'm going to go for the heroic. Because... Like, I really want to get that brawn, but then I, then when you're at brawn, you're going to really want to get the heroic. Because, you know, it's right there. 
But, you know, time-wise, it, it does affect you because you really need to grind a crap load. So just for the fun of this video, I'm going to actually use these 82 uh, amplifiers right now and see if I could double it. Uh, yes, guys, you need you, you could watch an ad to get rid of the plus 5 or plus 10, whatever the lowest thing is on that board. So, yeah, just so you know. I don't know if you run out of ads on this or not. I don't know. But 400 credits to refill all your bouts in over the limit mode is a joke. Uh, it should be 100 credits. It shouldn't be more than that. 200 the maximum. But 400? Like, this mode is so pay to win. And I thought this mode was finally a mode where free to play actually had the opportunity to, you know, finally get a card maybe without spending so much money. Because, you know, Road to Glory. For Shattered Players, it costs us maybe 1,200 credits, 1,800 credits for Heroic and all that other stuff. And now, like, LMS is 20 to 40k to be top 25, but that's that's if you want to go for that. And then this mode is looking to probably be maybe 15, 25, 30k, plus you also lose the contracts that you did spend. Or you could spend 30 to 40k if you don't use the contracts. It's just a mess. Ring Dom, it's only like 1,800 credits to do the whole thing and heroic. So the whole credit of events is so unbalanced everywhere you go. Ring, like everyone hates Ring Dom and Road to Glory because they play it, but they're the cheapest freaking events out there. So that's something you get bonus wise. Oh boy. Oh boy. Getting this times two is a pain in the ass. I'm telling you that right now, and I can never find the times two. So, there you go. And this should be an option for you to at least pay the money to get the times two. It's, it sucks that everything is luck based. And then you contribute that and look at that. Oh my god, guys. I'm currently at 3,300. And that's an hour and a half right there of grinding. Just for that amount of points. And you expect people to get to 18,000. It just doesn't make any sense. So, so far this mode is... The hype is dead for this mode. I'll tell you that much. And that's as most as I'm going to go into it. So overall, so far, Over the Limit is a fail. But there can, there will be, hopefully, improvements. That's all we can ask for. Unfortunately, we already know that the improvements are going to probably happen after the event's over. So once everyone's bankrupt, yeah, that's when we get the changes. And then we'll feel like idiots. However, you will get a high-powered Elias card if you did do at the event so <coughs> uh, I'm still debating if I want to do it or not uh, it's just Supercar knows there's a problem too I guarantee they know it and I guarantee you they should hold the event look it over and go let's change something add a little more time for everyone to get the cards and then revamp it you know but they're, they're not going to do they're not going to do that because that's the way it is it's after the events when they solve all the problems and all the feedback Never during the event, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that's really all I can offer in this video for you guys. Uh, I pretty much want to give you my intake on all this, and uh, this is going to cost you a lot of contracts. We I've used about one point four, yeah, about one point four so far. Started at ninety one point one, I'm at eighty nine point eight. So you know we are losing contracts, but I can get that all back. I don't, I'm not really worried about it. They add this pack again, which is so useless. I don't know why they keep adding that pack. Just get rid of it. Uh, Team Battlegrounds currently underway. I'm trying to see whatever uh, what else I can pull here. Uh, active, Activios is a team. So yeah, we're we're going up against them. And that's that. So you know we got a Shattered Stone Cold. That's nice. And uh, o OTL so far is a fail. So, yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's content, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I can't give you guys my best strategy right now because there is going to be changes. So I can't really give you my best strategy. For this event, for strategy-wise, if you are a paid player, if you're if you're a free player, you're screwed. I, I'm just going to say that right now. There's no point of you killing yourself to get nothing. So if you're a free player, you're screwed. At least get the Leo Rush or something like that if you're in that tier. Or at least get the Bobby Lashley if you want. Go for the Elias if you can. But don't go for the Heroic. You're screwed. If you're a paid player, I recommend Money in the Banks. 
and uh, watching, uh, doing uh, Money in the Bank all over, uh, times fiving. And you can get about three or four of those in in that half hour span with Money in the Bank, though. But you will be losing about a thousand contracts an hour at that rate, just so you know that. And the lowest, the lowest points you will have is 400 points. So think about it like that 1,000 contracts for that. And then don't forget your ads may run out. So you might need to refill over the limit bouts when that does happen. You might lose refills in the thing. So I don't know 100%. I haven't gone through that yet. So yeah, you just know that it could happen. Anyways, guys, that would do it for today's video. Uh, I was really looking forward to this mode and today, and it kind of sucked today. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, guys. Uh, and if you guys want to look at other people's strategies, they're giving out strategies all over the place. People are saying just do 20 points and then do it. I don't see the benefit in that. I really don't. I don't think there's any benefit right now with the way it is. So, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know the rest. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. All right, Wiley. If I can get a times two right here, Wiley. Bobby Lashley's done. Nope, didn't get it. Blows, baby, blows. But yeah, this is where we get Bobby Lashley. Plus 10. Oh, my God, I hit plus 10 in a row twice. Oh, got the bonus. That's sweet. All right, just avoid the plus 10. Oh, all right, we got 220. Not bad. <laughs> and what do we get? Bobby Lashley. All right, next up is Elias, which he's so far away. Holy shit. All right.